Hello and welcome back. Uh, my name is Mac and uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, we are today covering uh, West from John Tudor's campaign series released through uh, Matrix or Slytherin Software games. And we are going to try out West Front. In my previous Let's Play, I did uh, a Let's Play of East Front. And we did a battle there in the early war. So this is uh, West Front. It uh, looks like this when you fire it up. It's exactly the same as East Front. The menu system, everything is the same. You have um, scenarios here. Same setup. Loads of scenarios in this game as well. Uh, you can sort them through, as I explained in my last playthrough, complexity and all these different uh, turns, date, sides, all that. And this game also has a massive amount of scenarios. We're talking loads here. You can play. You have uh, hundreds of hours of gameplay here. I mean, there's so many scenarios here. It's insane, basically. Um, yeah. So it looks like that, and you have cool campaigns here in the uh, in the in the western sphere of the uh, World War II. You have the fall of France. You can do the whole uh, Fran French campaign there. Play either the Germans or the uh, or the French. You have conquest of Greece, Africa Corps, uh, Operation Crusader, Second Corps in Tunisia, Big Red One, Cayenne. Loads of dynamics here. You see, I'm just here. You start with they have link campaigns here. The tenth Panzers in Tunisia. Uh, quite a few link campaigns. Uh, you you cover uh, the hip, um, the fictional invasion that never took place. The uh, Operation Sea Lion capture of the the, the Germans after they uh, defeated French France. They uh, had plans to actually invade England. Never happened, but uh, you can play this uh, campaign here. Pretty cool stuff. You have uh, the Sicilian and the Italian campaign. You have uh, the whole uh, Normandy and Market Garden. You have the uh, Battle of the Bulge. Uh, and lots of stuff in the, uh, in the Africa campaign. There's loads of stuff here. So much fun. So let's go back here. Previous, yeah. I was thinking, uh, as I said in the last playthrough, to do a generated battle. Um, I'm going to make things really hard for myself here. I was thinking, uh, being the real underdog here, and uh, try something out very early in the uh, Second World War, in the uh, Africa campaigns. I'm going to try being the Italians. Now, that's a challenge. Um, they started off hostilities really early to uh, invade uh, areas held by the British. They had amassed a massive amount of troops, and uh, the, on paper the British were really outnumbered. I mean, uh, I mean, I think the, the Italians had something like 150,000 troops, and the uh, and the British had like about 40,000 troops there, but the the uh, British really did a number of the Italians there. They got defeated and crushed uh, in those early campaigns before the Africa Corps arrived. Rommel, uh, the famous Rommel, the German general, arrived and uh, started his operations versus the British. And they had, there was a cat and mouse competition going on, going back and forth in the deserts with some really cool clashes and uh, lots of fun there. So I was thinking of doing something really early. Uh, um, the uh, British response to the Italian uh, invasion was something called uh, Operation Compass, I think it was. And they started uh, to counterattack the, uh, the Italians in 1940, right at year's end. They, uh, in December, they started to recapture some of these fortified positions the, the Italians had uh, set up. So this is going to be fun. It's going to be very challenging indeed to play the Italians. Uh, but uh, I like challenges. Sometimes I like being the underdog. It's, it's fun. Uh, so we're going to see what the computer does here at the game. Uh, what kind of uh, forces I'm being given. And uh, my chances of actually succeeding in this one. It's going to be fun. So it's desert. It's 1940, December. Weather is clear. Uh, we could change it to overcast maybe. 
We're going to do a slightly bigger battle this time. I did a battalion size in my last playthrough in the East Front. We're going to go for Regiment, I think. Let's do a bit larger fight here. So uh, let's be the Italians here. Wow, okay. And let's see. Uh, we are be fighting Great Britain here. So let's uh, that's Great Britain. We're going to do the meeting engagement. So um, our forces are going to enter the map and activate and uh, I uh, find that to be the, the best setup for uh, random battles in uh, this game. Um, as I mentioned before, if you do the, some of the others, you tend to get your forces all mixed up. And it's, uh, I don't know, it's not ideal. Um, you have your forces different places and you have to try to assemble them and then start your attack. And you lose a lot of time doing that. So let's try and find also an interesting map here. As I said before, this is desert though, so we're going to have really open areas. We're going to be spotting each other early. There's going to be uh, artillery duels. There's going to be heavy casualties here. So I was thinking maybe, um, let's see here, at least have medium hills. Uh, so let's get to the medium hills, sandy, dunes, light population. Medium population, paved roads, paved roads, light population, uh, sand and scrub, escarpments, sand and rocks. This looks good. Medium hills, sand and scrub, and wadis. Why not? Let's try this. So, regiment. Now, sometimes when you fire this up, uh, for some reason the game has sometimes hard to find... Um, your organization you will get sometimes get error messages that says can't find uh, a, uh, a a a uh, organization for this particular time and you might have to redo it a couple times before it actually finds a suitable force that actually matches this uh, setup so that could happen but uh, then you just have to redo it and and finally at one of these uh, attempts it will actually find forces for you so let's just try it if it works now let's do uh, Okay, let's get into the battle here. Right, worked, cool. Okay, so uh, allies will be computer with fog of war, of course. We're gonna try the Italians out here. Rules, yeah, keep them all on. Like to have uh, as much realism as possible. Boom, let's get into the battle here. We got 16 turns only, okay. Okay, the allies start. Oops, we're hearing the rattle of tanks. Yeah, I know I'm going to be uh, outgunned here. The British had uh, a lot more, I think, uh, armor than the Italians had. At least they had a lot better uh, armor than the Italians. Uh, better trained, better equipment. Uh, they also had better infantry. And uh, the only thing I really might have going for me as the Italians is my artillery. Uh, I think the Italians had uh, quite a lot of artillery, uh, so did the British, of course, but um, I'm going to have to rely on my artillery here to uh, disrupt and destroy enemies, and that's going to be my only ace uh, ace card here. Alright, so we get access to command report here. We have reinforcements, and we have four airstrikes, apparently, so yeah. Good stuff here. Let's have a look what kind of airstrikes I got here. Available air support. Alright, it looks like we have some German uh, air, air, air power to help us with the Bullfighter 190G. Granted, these are German airplanes. This Fiat is Italian. We have a Stukas, a Junker 87B dive bombers. Wow, and another one of these um, ground attack crafts. So, okay, we got some good uh, air support. That's good. So, look at the map here. That's going to be open. <clears throat> these are the Wadis, I guess. So, um, do we have a road here? Kind of a weird placement there. So, where are the objectives here? Okay, we got a bunch of objectives in the center here. Okay, what else? Let's see here. We do have one here. That's a big one, 225 points. Oh, we have a bunch over here on the uh, right flank here. Okay, so those are going to be uh, zoom out even, even, even more here. Let's have a look. So this in the center looks interesting. There's a few points to get taken there. This one's definitely interesting. And this here. Maybe go for this area and this one here. We'll get me the most points, I think. 
Right, let's see what we got here. So, Axis Autocari Medio Breda Dov Nuke. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Alright. Boom, let's see. Trucks. Alright, so we got at least we got trucks here. Let's have a look what these are part of. Okay, so this is the uh, Riaga. Riagrupamento Maletti. Yeah, that was the um, a division there in the Italians they had. This was actually a motorized. Uh, and I think they even had tanks. I might have been lucky here. I might even have some tanks here. Okay, so these are the second company, uh, the Libyan Battalion here, first Libyan Battalion. Anyway, they started way over here in the uh, corner. Let's have a look here. So where do they need to go? So they should go in this general direction here, northeast, northeastern direction, I think. Right, let's get cracking here. Let's start moving. I like to have this on here. Right, move out. Wow, it's gonna be slow going here. What are these carrying? Rifle platoons. Yes, yeah, so this is a rifle, motorized rifle platoon uh, company here. But that was all I got. First turn. Okay, so just uh, end the turn, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna do a little save here. Let's see, uh, find a number here. Battle number five. I think it's good. Let's save it. Right, I like. Ooh, I don't like the sound of those rattling tanks there. So I'll probably be facing some uh, Mark IIs, uh, A9 tanks maybe, A13s, we'll see. Right, reinforcements arrive here. Stop moving these trucks though. Let's get them up there in a the northeastern direction. Uh, let's see what the visibility is here. Alright, visibility 18, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty long visibility there. Alright, what else did we get this turn? Let's see, we got another, uh, trucks here. Okay, here we go, one of these. Also rifle platoons carried in trucks. They are the 5th uh, Libyan Battalion here, 1st Company. They're same uh, in corpse, okay. So, let's see, just get these, where should I move these guys? Let's have a look here. Pretty close to these, this group here. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, they should maybe also go north for this uh, cluster of objectives there. Why not? Let's, okay, we got a road here. Let's use it. Move a bit faster. Let's get these trucks up here. Let's see what else we get. Got another platoon company of trucks here. Okay, they're way over here. So what's this? This looks like a uh, heavy weapons platoon, probably. Uh, it's the 4th Company of the Libyan Battalion, uh, Regimento Maletti. All right, let's have a look what they are. Heavy machine guns, yeah. These are it's a heavy weapons platoon. So let's uh, make them uh, move with this unit here. So I think I moved everything. Yeah, no more reinforcements, and the turn. There's a lot of tanks coming in there. It's gonna be a problem, I think. We'll see. Alright, reinforcements arrived. I stop moving the units. Let's get these trucks here. Nice. It's the sand dunes, so it's harder to move through this. trucks up there. Right, these guys are going to continue moving north. Yeah, desert warfare. Very different than uh, these European uh, theaters or Eastern Front. Very different here. Right, that was all I got. Okay, let's see what I got this turn here. Okay, Caro Armato. Model 11 slash 39 medium tanks. We got some tanks here. Ooh, look at these. These were actually lousy tanks. We we'll have a look at them there. Let's have a look at these tanks here. So they are part of the Ragamento Maletti as well. It's the second medium tank battalion, the first company here. Right, this is not. This is a very bad tank here. Look, they got defense four here. Pretty good morale though. Six, alright, I guess. There's four tanks in each platoon. Yeah. 
It was a, intended as a standard uh, medium tank for the Italian Armored Division, carrying two turret-mounted 8mm machine guns and a, and a superstructure-mounted 37mm gun. It's fairly well armored. However, the limited traverse of the 37mm gun proved unsatisfactory, and soon the search for, uh, for a design with a turret-mounted gun began. The result was that only 100 of these vehicles were built. The M1139 saw action in Italian, East Africa, and Libya. Yeah, so you see, 30 millimeter armor, very th quite thin armor, but I guess what's okay for the for for the time here. And uh, that gun there. So we'll look at the range here. So a very terrible hard attack value here at close range, only five. So uh, yeah, these tanks not the best. Anyways, let's move them up here. The British tanks are going to outclass this one. Let's get those tanks up there. What else did we get here? Okay, we got some more tanks. Let's see where they end up. Over here, alright. Are they close to that? Uh, yeah. So they should also just charge straight north here towards the objectives. Right, what else are we getting here? Artillery tractors. I like the sound of that. What kind of artillery got here? 65mm infantry guns. 65mm infantry guns, yeah. It's a pretty common Italian uh, uh, guns there. The trucks here. Let's just start moving them up. That's the battalion headquarters for those uh, artillery set up there. Right, what else are we getting here? Axis Autoraki Medio. Alright, I think there's those trucks there. Yeah. These are uh, mortars. Company of mortars there. So look. Probably heavy weapons. Yeah, 67th Mortar Company there. Alright, that's good stuff. Let's move them up this road here. That's about it. That's all I got. Yeah. Is that the turn? Oh. Well, there's a lot of tanks there. Let's see how we fare against these British forces. It's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard here, but uh, fun as well. Ooh, there's a lot of tanks. I'm just hearing tanks. Reinforcements arrived. Okay. Right. Stop moving units here. Let's get them uh, in this northeastern direction. This is the uh, infantry company here. Trucks. We're pretty slow. Uh, what is this? These are my tanks. Let's get them up there. Heavy weapons. Machine guns. Right, what do we got here? This is the um, yeah, this is the artillery. Infantry, I think. No, those were the mortars. Yep, mortar company. Right, this is the uh, rifle. Let's get them up. Just need to move a lot north there. So you see uh, Battalion HQ there. Um, let's move them up. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, this is the infantry. Tanks here, just charge north here. All units considered, okay. Let's see, did we get anything else? 
Loads of stuff. Alright, what, what's this? This is a 47mm anti-tank gun. These could be good. Let's have a look at them. This is the 5th Libyan anti-tank company here. Alright, got some anti-tank guns. That's good. Let's move them up. Quite a few, actually. Looks like we have the whole uh, anti-tank support for the uh, for the uh, division here. All right. What else? Some more trucks. What's this? Wow! Another company of anti-tank guns here. Let's have a look. Sixth Libyan anti-tank uh, company there. And this was. The fifth, so we have a lot of anti-tank. That's good. He's got loads of tanks. So this could help us a lot. Let's see what else we got here. Axis, Fiat, Spa, Taranta, what's artillery again? Alright, we got some more artillery here. These are 75 mm field guns, so slightly bigger than the uh, 65 there. Good. Alright, we're moving out here. Let's see what happens. Uh, did we move everyone? Yeah. Okay, and no more reinforcement here. We're at turn 4, we're going into turn 5. So only 16 turns, that's not a lot. Okay, I can hear some motorcycles there. Right, see, stop moving stuff. Right, these are the uh, machine guns. Let's get them on this road here, I guess. Get these tanks up. Let's see, where are we here on the map? Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, so we are getting nowhere close <laughs> to the objectives. Oh man, it's far. Will we ever reach that in time? I, I wonder. I think uh, 16 turns was uh, a bit, not that many turns given for uh, for a regimental size battle, but uh, all right, we'll see. So that's a bit. Let's see. Let's just move these up first, I guess. Waters. Got here. We got a hill here. Okay, we got some objectives here. We're already we're already holding the objectives, so uh, I think he's more pressured to get to them before me. So, okay, what's this? This was the uh, tanks. Let's get them on this road here, I guess. Tanks. This is soft uh, sand dunes there. Maybe I should avoid that. Um, so look at the big map again here. So we're here. So we got some stuff going for this objective here. Maybe we should start heading in this general direction. This, this is a good one. So these tanks, maybe they should start heading northeast. I think they should. So let's head them in, in this general direction here. Tank guns up. He probably will reach the objectives before me, since uh, he seems to have a lot more tanks. 
And I think those British tanks were uh, moving a bit faster than the Italian ones. Victim mobility was better. All right, what did we get here? Some more trucks down here. What's this? Another anti-tank company. Wow, we got three anti-tank companies here. 63rd anti-tank company from the Sirene Infantry Division. So this is actually part of another division here. Three anti-tank... Uh, wow, that is uh, quite a few. Uh, let's see here. Let's move them up. Motorcycles. Way over here, okay. Let's see, these are uh, the 63rd Motorcycle Company of the Sirene Infantry Division. Um, right, so kind of recon there. This was a Sirene as well, wasn't it? Yeah, so these motorcycles are part of that. Uh, let's get them up here and start moving them fast. I love the sound effects of those motorcycles. All right, so what's the last? Axis Engineer Platoon here. Okay, these guys are on foot. Wow, that will take uh, pretty long to get these guys to get to the front here. They are also part of the Sirena Infantry Division there. Yeah. So let's double time these. You press this, boom, they, get, uh, they move a bit faster. Well, not a lot, but uh, a little bit. So we got inf uh, engineers on foot. That will take them probably the whole battle to uh, get up to those objectives. They probably will, won't see any action, those guys. Right, let's start moving some of these units here. What's this? This is uh, that headquarters there. Right, everybody move here. Let's just end the turn. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> it's gonna be tough, but uh, do my best. Fighting uh, the British regimental size force as well. Well, we're gonna be in trouble, sure. That's a lot of tanks. All right, reinforcements arrived. Right, stop moving this stuff here. So let's get this. So three anti-tank companies. Wow, that was. Uh, we have a lot of anti-tanks. Uh, anti-tank guns. Let's get these tanks up here. So there's machine guns, I think. Machine gun company there. Motorcycles. Right, and this is the uh, the right platoons. Yeah, Let's zoom out a bit. Are we getting close to these objectives? Probably not. No, we're gonna go travel a bit more in northeast direction as well. So let's start moving in this direction. Right, and these were actually moving in. Uh, let's have a look here. Where are these guys going? Uh, okay, they could, they could just charge straight up here and capture this one first. Maybe this one will relieve. They will move on. Let's do that. Let's get these guys moving here. Pretty slow for being motorized. All right. Oh yeah, this was another anti tank uh, company. I think they, maybe they should go with that force there. 
guess this 47 millimeter at the tank gun could be my uh, hope to take out those uh, British tanks. So let's see here. We're moving in a northeastern direction here, yeah. So these tanks don't have any infantry support. I do need some infantry over here as well. So 75 millimeter field guns there. Oh yeah, these poor uh, engineers. Wow. Yeah, they'll never get up there in time. But these tanks here moving in the northeast direction. Yeah. So these uh, tank companies had 12 tanks apparently. Let's see where they are now. They are moving in the... Let's see if he captured... He might have captured some objectives already, the British. Let's see here. Uh, we're still holding those there. Still hasn't arrived in that area. Let's see over here. That one's still intact. And this cluster here, so... He still hasn't arrived there yet. But did we get any more reinforcements here? Oh, we got loads. Axis Divisional Headquarters. Okay. But this one is important here, I guess. Uh... Doesn't seem to be part of uh, this division, though. Yeah, those tanks, apparently. Uh, let's see here. Let's have a look at this. Uh, see what it says here. It's the uh, yeah, Corps headquarters there. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, it's part of this. Yeah, Let's get it up there. Divisional headquarters there. Gotta be careful with that. Okay, we've got a battalion headquarters on foot. On foot? Oh my god, look, these guys are gonna be slow here. Okay, they're part of that. Uh, oh, on foot. Really? They, they didn't have any vehicles? Wow, okay. Let's keep getting double time with these guys. Well, I think we're gonna have supply problems here. Alright, ex battalion headquarters on foot. Oh, who are these guys part of? Uh, Okay, so they are way out of uh, the command range there. That's going to take a long time to get them up there. Okay, we got some more uh, CV-35 tankettes. Why? Look at these small tanks. Wow. Yeah, what are these? Uh, the L-335 tankette was developed along the lines of the British Cardan Lloyd Mark IV and first appeared as L-333 in 1933. It's an old tank here. Um, uh, let's have a look at it. Two 8mm machine guns and only 15mm armor. Wow. Okay, so they are pretty weak tanks here. Uh, let's just get them up here. Probably good against infantry, but... Uh, Scouting, I guess. Third platoon of the light tank battalion. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely light tanks here. It's four tanks in each uh, platoon here. They're so small. Right, what else? Some more of those tanks there. So they all ended up in this corner of the map here. We've got a lot of stuff that way down here in the uh, southwest corner. We might have had uh, I'll be un being unlucky there with uh, our forces coming on the map there. All right, turn six. Uh, we are advancing. So just uh, end the turn here. Oops, enemy spotted. Ooh, that's a whole tank squadron there. Is that the British here? Looks like a total. Yeah. That's a whole uh, tank squadron there. Alright, let's see what we can do <laughs> versus these tanks here. They, I think they had a two pounder gun on, the, on those. And we are gun. That's equivalent to about a 40 millimeter gun. And our tanks got 37. So, the, I think these tanks actually had weaker armor, but 
not sure. We'll see. Right, turn seven, and we got contact. Do I have any tanks here? It doesn't seem like I do. So he's moving in with the whole squadron there. What do I got? I got some infantry here, some artillery here. Got those anti-tank guns coming. Yeah, these tanks are so far away at the moment. Oh boy, this is going to be tough. Right, we got this little force here moving in this general direction. They want to go for uh, this here and then this cluster of objectives over here. Right. Okay. So I'm going to end the video here and uh, we're going to pick up the action in the next. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you later.